please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hey now, it's your girl Shanita Nicole and welcome to Do Dream On if you're new and if you're already a dreamer, welcome, welcome back y'all, welcome back, welcome, welcome back y'all, welcome back. Today y'all, I'm super duper excited, y'all know what it is, do y'all see the shirt glistening and gleaming, woo woo, yes, this is my first rhinestone shirt ever, yes hunty. I'm so excited because not only am I going to show you how to make the rhinestone shirt, I'm going to show you how you can make a template inside of Silhouette Studio, the business edition. So you do need the business edition to make this yourself. I made this myself. I did not purchase it from anywhere, any website, any Etsy, anything. I made this myself in Silhouette Studio and then I made a template and I cut it out in Cricut. Yes, yeah, so that's what I'm going to be showing you today. I'm going to be showing you how to make the words in silhouette, saving it, and then uploading it into your Cricut Design Space. Yes, we did it all from scratch. The video is a little long, but I promise you it's worth it. So let's grab our flock, heat transfer warehouse, our glitz, I mean our rhinestones, this particular one. Is from Wix Street Vinyl. You can get them a lot of places. And let's get to creating. Let go. Okay, so today this is what we'll be using. I got this from the Dollar Tree. I got this from Wix Street Vinyl. It's actually a trim and touch up pad. This is for windows and brushes, but I'm going to be using this as my rhinestone brush. And then I got my nice rhinestones from wig street vinyl so thank you so much wig street vinyl i greatly appreciate you guys make sure you check them out i will leave their link down below in the description i'm actually going to be using this color today the crystal ab hot fix rhinestones i'm so excited to be using that once again thank you so much wig street vinyl i actually got this from my cousin maya this is from the rhinestone world my cousin Maya also gave me this and this is heat transfer warehouse so shout out to heat transfer warehouse you guys know i'm an affiliate with them so i definitely will be um leaving a link down below so you can grab this from heat transfer warehouse and my cousin also gave me these from be createful I will not be using those for this video, but I will use them later. But today we're using the rhinestones from, like I said, Wick Street Vinyl. So this is what I'll be using in my video today. This is my, you know, I'm trying to figure out this rhinestone thing. So we're going to be going here and jumping into it. Okay, so like I said, I am going to be showing you inside of Silhouette Studio, the business edition, how to create a custom uh, rhinestone template for yourself. You can create it inside of Silhouette Studio. It does have to be the business edition. We're going to save this and then we're going to upload it inside of Cricut and cut it. Okay. So I am just going to be doing a simple dreamer for today. Um, if you guys know me, I typically just print out larger inside of Silhouette Studio. I don't really uh, play around with it. So I had to figure this out for myself. I didn't have time to really do a lot of research. So this is just for me figuring it out and um, seeing a few things I do and I will go more extensive. I will have more videos using templates and all types of things. But today I'm just figuring it out. So we are going to go ahead and have a blank canvas. I do have it set up as machine cameo Aud, um, auto cameo and 12 by 12 just for um, these purposes okay so now I'm going to go over to the toolbar here and go to text and then I'm going to click here and I'm just going to I'm going to use all caps because for me this was just easier for the first time I'm using the word dreamer okay very very simple you can put whatever you want I'm just playing around with it. I am going to go to the other. 
I'm going to go to the other text box here and then I am going to find a thick text because that's just what I want to use. It seems like that works better when you have, when you're making um, rhinestones. So I'm going to use Ariel Black. I'm not going to even uh, get my own or download anything. Just really simple to show you how I want, how I'm going to do it. Okay, so we have the word dreamer here. I am now going to go down to this uh, toolbar here again and it says open the rhinestones panel okay rhinestones panel so here is rhinestone effect the rhinestone size rhinestone spacing if you want to draw rhinestones freehand release rhinestones and the rhinestone count okay so for this tutorial i'm going to use the 10 ss that's what i'm going to be using and then we're going to see if you want no rhinestones. That's what we are now. If you want the edge rhinestones, if you want linear feel, or if you want radio feel. So I'm going to show you the difference. This is if we just did the edges. And then you see how that looks. That actually looks kind of cute, actually. And then if you want it, you could click on freehand. And then you can add the rhinestones there. If you wanted to do this one, okay, and you see, we I would zoom in, and then I will go. I don't know a different way yet, so I'm going to click this for select. I'm going to select that one rhinestone I just made and move it around, okay. I'm going to delete that one, that free hand one. Okay, so we could use it that way. And you see how I tried to kind of connect it. I'm going back. I'm just going back to adding all of them. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to zoom back out. And then... I'm going to bring that panel back up. Now we did edge, where it just shows the edges. Now we're going to fill it. So the linear fill, that's how it looks if we were to fill it. And then this is the uh, radio fill. Okay, so it looks completely different. I'm actually going to use this one, but I have to come back. And delete those because I didn't delete them all okay so this is the one that I am going to be using today you do want to make sure that you research so like I said I didn't do a, a, a lot of research because I just really wanted to do this but I'm going to use the size 146 this is the size I'm going to use for my shirt. It's going to be 2.859 inches in height, 11.157 inches in width. And like I said, I just wanted to really, really try to see how it worked. So I'm just jumping in. I will do more research and do more videos the more I learn, so the more I can share with you. But this is the size I am going to do. Um, once again, I'm using 10SS. I'm using the linear fill. And then I'm going to add some rhinestones in this M. Actually, hmm, let me see. I add some rhinestones. Go back to select. Okay. I can add more rhinestones. You click on freehand. going to select and I'm going to move these up. I'm going to zoom in and then I'm going to take the ones that I added because this is where the rhinestones are going to be. The holes for the rhinestone. I'm using my arrow key 
So sometimes if you can't do it the way you want with your cursor, you can use your arrow key. just to kind of get it where you want. I actually think I like it better, but you that's how you add them. But I think I might like it better with how they did it. Yeah, I'm, I think I might keep it with how they did it for this one. But if you wanted to add it, you can do that, okay? So you do have choices there. So now it's nice, simple dreamer you know you can see exactly what it is it's perfectly fine what i'm going to do now though is i'm going to add a rectangle over dreamer okay i'm going to release the rhinestones and then i'm going to come in uh -oh. Okay, I released the rhinestones, so you want to make sure you release the rhinestones, and then we're going to command all. I want them all together, because you want the rhinestones all separate. I'm right-clicking, and then I'm grouping it all together. Okay. Okay. So now it's all grouped. If you want to see how everything looks, you can. I'm clicking on the square. And what I'm going to do, I think the square might be in the front. I'm going to make it pink. Let's ungroup it. And then I have to send the pink to the back so you can see how it will look. Okay. Okay, so now you see you need 418 10 SS stones to make this shape. All right, I'm command all, and then I'm going to right click, I'm going to group everything. Okay, so now everything is grouped. I'm going to right click again, I'm going to make command path. Okay, I'm going to click this square again, make it pink, bam, now it's going to actually create the holes. So that's the difference. Now everything, I'm going to save this as an SVG, and then I am going to upload it into Cricut Design Space. So now, because I have the pink flock, you can make it blue if you're using blue. You can make whatever color you want. But because I have the pink flock, I made my background pink. Huh, Y'all know I love pink. And now all of these are going to cut as holes. Okay, so you can you make them transparent if you want. There we go. Now it's transparent. Now this is how it is going to cut out in Cricut Design Space. Okay, I'm going to go up to file. I'm going to go as save as. I'm going to save it to the hard drive. And I'm going to save it as dreamer. Rhinestone. Oops. Let's take that cap off. That's for tutorial. I'm going to save this as an SVG and press OK. So now it is all set and it will cut out exactly like this. Okay. So let's go ahead and meet me in my Cricut Design Space. So there is something that I realized. So I went back, 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 back and so everything was ungrouped. And you see this? This is too close. So I'm scooting these over. 
Okay, you see how I scooted those over and I noticed it and I said, oh no, I have to fix it. So now what I'm going to do is command all and then I'm going to right click and group it again. Okay, I'm going to right click again and I'm going to make compound path. And then I'm going to click the actual back again. And I'm going to make it pink again. See that? And I'm going to take the uh, the tracing, make it transparent. So now I'm going to save it again. Because I did not want that E and the A to be connected like that. I really probably could have scooted it over a little bit more. But I think that should be good enough. We'll see later. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, what did I do? File, save it again. And I'm going to save as Dreamer SVG2 for my tutorial. Saving it as an SVG. Okay, so now it's saved again. But if you may, if you see something like that, because this is not a perfect um solution if you see something you want to make changes you can backspace like i said you can add um uh, rhinestones etc it's up to you but i'm literally just doing it this simple way and now i have my sgv again i'm going to go ahead and now we can go to cricut design space so now i uploaded my dreamer svg for the tutorial image into cricut design space I'm going to insert the image. The image is 11.58 by 2.24 there. You want to make sure you don't play around with anything here. So make sure when you are downloading your SVG that you make sure you want it that specific size for that image. You can do different templates for different sizes because these holes are specifically designated for the SS10 and with the 11.582 inches okay so this is going to go straight across my shirt and you want to make sure when you save the svg and you make your templates you say that you may have to do several templates for different sizes but you want to just make sure you're aware of that okay okay so now that's all set let's go ahead and go to make it we are going to click on make it and then now it has chosen the larger mat, the 12 by 24 inch mat, because of this size, which is perfectly okay. We're going to go ahead and press continue. Once we get to continue, it's connecting to my maker. And then what we do here is we are going to go ahead and go to browse all materials. And then the magnetic sheet. Uh -oh. The magnetic sheet 0.5 mm is actually what I believe they said rhinestone world. There's a woman named, I think Carly Hall. I hope that's her name. I did see that and she said, and she said that rhinestone world said use this. Um, so typically you can use this. When I did my practice cut, I used it. It went straight through the sheet. So we're actually going to make a setting ourselves. So you go down to this green material settings. And then we're going to do a custom setting, okay? So if we scroll all the way down at the bottom, if wait, first let's look at it. Look, it shows you exactly, let me show you something first. First, it shows you the custom materials, the material name, the cut pressure, so how much you want to press it, if it's a multi-cut, and the blade type. And then you can edit. So let's look at magnetic sheet because that's what... Um, I believe they said to use I'm going to show you and it is in alphabetical order so I'm going to show you what those settings are so it's saying 320 the pressure two times in the fine point blade so when I use this one for my test um, flat it went straight through so I don't want to go all the way through I'm going to do a custom setting of um, 300 okay so I already made it 
but I'm going to just put rhinestones, okay? We're going to save that. And then, like I said, it went up, and it is in um, alphabetical order. So I already did rhinestone template, but we're going to just do it again. So we're going to go to... 300 because we want the pressure to be 300 and you can play around and see what you like 300 cut it really good too i think with my maker i could have probably even went to 290 maybe 295 but whatever we'll leave it at 300 for right now we're saving that and then we're going to make sure we're going to edit it again and then we're going to do two times just so it can match the other one and save it okay so now we have rhinestone template and rhinestones is the exact same, but that's fine. It's just for the tutorial. Okay. So now we're going to click that setting. And what I actually did was I press done. And what I actually did was I made rhinestone template one of my favorites. So now I can go to that one. So I'm going to click rhinestone template. And then load this bad boy up and we're gonna cut it out and we're gonna see how it goes. Okay, so now we are going to make sure it's long enough. So we're gonna see it's definitely thick enough. Right. Hope this is sticky enough. All right, up here. Nebraska. Okay, so you guys saw me cut it out. Saw the Cricut cut it out with the new settings. So let's see what it's gonna do. So I'm gonna unpeel it. Mm -mm. I'm going to un. Oh, it's still. <laughs> It's still, I'm trying, so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to keep the dots on here because I need this to be cleared out. And the dots are still in here, some of them. So, let's see if we can get them to come off because I want them off. I need these out. All the way out. Okay. So let me get the light in together. Hopefully you can see it better. So here's the point. We want all of these holes out. Okay. So I may have to even change the setting for that. But the point is to get all the holes out. Because what's going to happen is the rhinestones are going to fall in these holes. Okay. And we're going to make a template. So, all these holes need to get all of these rhinestones, I mean all of these holes, all the rhinestones are going to go in there. Okay, so now I have all the holes out. So I can either put it here or on this cardboard. I think I'll put it on this card stock. This card stock just happened to be 12 by 12. So this is sticky. So I'm going to use this card stock as a template so I can keep it and if I want you want to make sure that everything is 
as straight as possible so things aren't crooked. I'm gonna do it this way. Try to align it with the car stock because I know that that's straight, right? All right, so there we have it. I know that's straight because it's along, it's along with the car stock. So, So now I have the template. Okay, and I'm going to use the Crystal AB Hot Fix Rhinestone. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pour that. Generously. Take my brush and then I'm going to circle Can you see that they're falling into place and the ones that don't oh look how pretty they look and see it's hard because you want to keep them in place so if you lift it up they're gonna mess up <clears throat> So let's do it again. Oh, these look good. So I'm gonna just, like I said, keep it like this. And I have it on a tray because I'm gonna gather all of these and put them back in here. Because I need all of these crystals. Brush it into place. To seal those holes up. Look at them fall into place. They go right in there too.
Okay, so now, oh, it looks so pretty. So now what I'm gonna do, I'll put all the rhinestones over in the corner because I'm gonna put them back in my little jar. Take this off. And then, Oh, you gotta be very careful. Okay. Have to be very careful. I'm cutting this off. Cutting this, I'm taking the backing of it off. I'm putting it down in the middle and then I'm rolling it to the edge. You want to be careful if anything moves it. Uh oh, what is that doing? All right. I'm taking my squeegee and I'm going over. It look like it's an extra rhinestone right there and right there. So I'm gonna take those off. So I'm squeegeeing it down. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm lifting it up. Oh, this is, I don't know what type of relaxing this is. Uh -uh. Okay, so you see that it's two rhinestones. So I'm going to take my tweezers and I'm getting this one off. And then I'm putting this one back down so I can pick that one up. Okay, be very careful with everything. That E is the extra one right there. Be very careful. And I think the R is the extra one too. Set this down, make sure everything is flat so that it can stick. Okay, make sure all the rhinestones are flat, and I'm gonna set it up. I'm gonna set you guys up near the heat press so you can see me press it. So let's go to the heat press. Okay, so I'm at the heat press for the ones that I have from, for the rhinestones that I have, you need the, you need it to be on 305 for 15 seconds. And then we, we double press it. So we press it once, then we press it again. So you guys know I have all the rulers and stuff, but for this one, I'm gonna go old school. Y'all remember Tam's Sweet Life? And remember, I didn't even know she had a YouTube until recently. So we're gonna use this to center it. And 
And then, uh-oh. We're going to use this to center it. Can y'all see that? Let me scoot y'all in closer. Let me scoot y'all closer. Ugh. Okay. So we put it on there. And I'm looking before I press it to make sure everything is where it's supposed to be. Everything is all set. And that's it. Let's go ahead and press it for 15 seconds at 305. I think my heat press done went up to 306, but it's okay. We're going to press it and then we're going to press it again. And this time I'm not putting the I'm not putting nothing on there. We just gonna see this is my first time ever pressing a rhinestone shirt, y'all. See how it goes. And you want it to be medium firm pressure. All right. So that was the first time. And we gonna do it one more time. And I'm using the Heat Press Nation Pullout 16 by 24. So here's the first, my first rhinestone shirt ever. High fix rhinestones. Oh, let's hope it works. Ooh, <laughs> it worked. Oh, and it's on there too. Ooh, ooh, it's glistening. Ooh, these rhinestones look like they just sparkle more. Let me bring y'all in. It look like they just sparkle more. Bring it. There we go. Look at it, y'all. We did it. We did it. All right, let me get a better look. All right, y'all. We did it. Ooh, come on, Wick Street Vinyl. These are good. Let me turn the uh light down. Oh, this looks good. They on here too, y'all. Dreamer. Now we can start all playing around with it. Now we did it and we did it with our own letters and everything. We did our own template. I love it. Yay! I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. So, all right. And that's a wrap. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please holla at your girl. If you have not already, please join our Facebook group, Queen Dreamer. We love it over there. Men and women are welcome. Everyone's welcome. Go ahead and join that group. Please follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Do Dream On is the handle for that. And I love y'all. Did y'all know that? I think y'all know that. Anywho, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, make sure all that linen stuff is up. Like I said, holla at your girl. Follow me on all my sites. I'm going to be doing, if you guys like this video, I am going to be doing more on rhinestones we could do download some templates download some fonts everything this was the font that we created in silhouette then upload it into cricut and cut it out of cricut ourselves but i have so many more in store if you like it please comment down below if you do and um y'all be safe out there you hear bye thank you for your time please like share and subscribe Bye.